This is our second video on power. Use the graph to find the work done between t equals 2 seconds and t equals 5 seconds. We see in our graph that we have power and time on these axes. And if we want to find the work done by using a power time graph, we want to find the area, in this case, between 2 and 5 seconds. So the area that we want is that area right there. So it looks like we're going to have to break that area into a couple of pieces. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it into a triangle here and then a rectangle on the bottom. So let's see what that gives us. The work done is going to be, let's do the rectangle first. That's going to be a width of 3 and a height of 20. And then how about the triangle? That's going to be 1 half times the base, which is 2. And what's this height? This height is going to be roughly 20, 20, we'll just approximate it, 27. It's not up to 50 yet, so that's going to be maybe 27. So what does this give us? 60 plus 27. And that's going to be about 87 joules. That's how we do that. Now, what about this one? Here we have a graph, and supposedly it conforms to this equation. That's fine. We're showing this graph just as an example. The equation that we want to focus on is going to look like that. And so what we want to do here is we want to find the area between 2 and three seconds. So the area that we would want to find, again, you can tell that this specific graph would not apply to this equation because this equation has an intercept of five. And so the real graph, wouldn't it, might actually look something like that. It would have to have a y-intercept of five. You can see that at the end of the equation. So that's okay. We can draw that in there. That's the area we need, something like that. Now, if we have a function and we want to find area, then we're going to integrate that function. So the work done is going to be the integral of the power with time. So we're going to go from a limit of t equals 2 seconds to t equals 3 seconds. We're going to take that function and we're going to go 6t squared minus 4t plus 5 close parentheses, dt. So let's see if we can do that. Whenever we integrate polynomials, we power up. So this is going to go to t to the third, and then we have to divide by 3, so won't that be a 2 out front? And then here we're going to raise that to t to the second power divided by 2, so I think that's going to be minus 2t squared, and then we're going to go by t like that. And we're going to go from limit of 2 to 3. So let's put this in and see what we get. If we put a 3 in here, 3 cubed is 27, so that's going to be 54. I'll put a set of parentheses here. Minus 3 squared is 9, so that's going to be minus 18, plus 5 times 3 is 15. So that's at our upper limit. And then the lower limit if we put a 2 in here, 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16 minus 8 plus 10. So what does that come out to? This first term is coming out to 51. And the second term is going to come out to 16 minus 8 is 8 plus 10 is 18. 51 minus 18, about 33. 33 joules.